Hey guys, what's going on out there? And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to make that um, shocking text that well, you seen there just at the beginning. So as you can see, I have a fresh project here, and we're going to start from scratch. Okay? So the first thing we're going to want to do is add a group. Okay? So now as you can see, we have a regular old group, and this is what you should see starting out in motion with a blank project. Okay? When you start with a new project, that is. Now, we're going to want to add another group, and we're going to do that by clicking the plus button up there on top of the Layers tab. And when we do this, we're going to name this new group Text, and we're going to place it inside the group that's already there. Okay? So let's go ahead and hit the plus button. It gives us a new group. Let's take that group and drop it inside the original group. So now we have Group 1 inside of Group 2. Let's click on the name of the Group 1 that we just dropped inside of our original group and rename it to text okay so now we have two groups we have the original group and we have a text group so let's select our text group okay now we're gonna hit the T key to bring up our text tool let's go ahead and click and let's type shocking let's make it aerial black we'll make the alignment center we'll make the size 90 points like so and uh, I think that's about all we need to do in this case so, so you can go ahead and hit the escape key to move that to come out of the uh, adjusting mode there so we can kind of move it around and let's go ahead and just center this up a little bit like that right there okay so now here we go we have a group inside that group we have a text group and inside that text group we have our text so now let's click on the te the shocking text layer like that with the text that we just made and we're gonna select the text slash style tab so come over here to text after this is selected come to text and select the style tab real easy so I mean this stuff's really right in your face it's really not hard to follow along now we're gonna set the face color to 88 percent gray okay now you're wondering how do you do that well just turn down your little face disclosure triangle for color click red 0.88 green 0.88 blue 0.88 return and as you can see that slightly slightly makes our face color slightly gray you might not be able to tell much about it over YouTube but trust me it's there okay so now we're going to want to activate our outline and we're going to want to set the color to a deep blue okay so let's turn on our outline by checking the box okay let's check the color swatch Let's select a deep blue like that looks good and let's set the width of our outline to 2 which is right here now you can see if you look close we have this blue dark blue outline going around a slightly grayed text okay so now let's click on the text group again now we're gonna press the K key to create a clone layer and when we do this we're gonna name this clone layer coloration so let's select our layer we already have our text layer selected let's hit the K key now we have a clone layer. Let's take this clone layer and click the name of it. And like I said, let's re rename it to coloration. Now we have a clone layer named coloration. Now let's click on the text group again and do the same thing. Click on the text group and hit K one more time. That gives us a second clone layer. We're going to name this clone layer masker. M-A-S-K-E-R. Masker okay so now we have if you look real close we have an original group that holds everything we have a coloration clone layer a mask or clone layer a text group holding our shocking text okay so now we can move on a little bit if you see here we are a little bit off so what we need to do is select it and we want to even our stuff up here so uh, let's select our coloration layer and let's even it up in our masker layer and let's even that up okay so now we're all in line there very good very good very good now we want to expand our masker layer and we're going to use a bloom to do so so let's take our masker layer let's select it like so and let's add a filter glow bloom so add filter glow bloom and we're going to set our amount to 12. 
maybe, how about we set our amount to 13? That's good, 13, okay? Now we're gonna select the coloration layer. And when we select the coloration layer, we're gonna add a filter, color correction, color reduce, okay? So add filter, color correction, color reduce. Now I want you all to pay attention to what I'm doing here, okay? As you can see, we have, we have match colors and replace with boxes. So you can see we've got match color one, match color two, and then we have replace with right below each one. So we have match color one and the replace with color that corresponds to match color one, match to color two, and the replace with color for match color two, and so on. So we're going to change some of these around, okay? So the first thing we're going to do with is we're going to set reduce to three colors. As you see now, it's four colors. So let's set it to three colors, okay? Now let's set match color one and replace to black. So I'm going to set match color one is already black and to replace with, I'm going to click the color swatch and make it black. Now we have both of them black. Now we're going to set match color two to white and it already is white. So set the replace with to 0 0.75 red. In other words, turn down the replace with and the red point. So click it, put 0 0.75 tab to go to green, okay, and with green we're going to put one, tab, and blue we're going to put one as well, and that gives us like a light blue color, okay, now we're going to go to match color three, and the replace with for it, and we're going to set these both the same, zero, zero, one, so we'll turn it down, we'll put zero, zero, one, and we're going to do the same thing with its replace color, zero, zero, one. Let me close my tr disclosure triangles. Now we're going to add one more filter, and it's going to be a glow filter, and it's going to be a bloom. So let's go add filter, glow, bloom. Okay? And we're not really going to do anything to this bloom filter. We're going to leave it as it is. So now, in our library tab, let's go to our library tab, there'll be a generators section, go to your generator section, select your caustics, which should probably be, you know, the first one there, and let's click the apply button. Now I'll apply it. Now let's go back to our inspector here, our properties, and let's set the blend mode for our caustics layer to add. Okay? So now that we've went ahead and set it to add, let's do a few more things. We're going to set the size, the speed, and the refraction. So let's go to our generator tab. Down here in size, let's click our little box. And we're going to make it 0 0.06. Okay. Now we're going to work on our speed. We're going to put it 0.93. And now we're going to change our refraction. And we're going to change our refraction. Let's make it 210. Okay, everything doesn't look like much right now, but we're getting there. Let's go ahead and adjust our brightness a little bit and make it 50. Now we're going to add a filter, and it's going to be a stylized filter, and it's going to be called edge work. So we'll go to add filter, stylize, edge work. Kind of weird looking, huh? <laughs> Now let's go ahead and set the radius to this thing to 1. It's on 2. Let's set it to 1. And let's set the blur, oh, I don't know, to 1.05. That sounds close enough. Let's set the amount to 13. And now let's add another filter. So let's go up to the Add Filter, Glow, Bloom. And let's set the amount to 2. And the brightness to 60. Okay. Now let's select the caustics and type Command Shift M. So select your caustics layer. Command Shift M. And that will add an image mask to our caustics layer. Okay. Let's set our source channel to luminance. So we'll come over here, source channel luminance okay 
And then we're going to drag our masker layer into the mask source well. So let's grab our masker layer and drag it up here to the mask source well. And boom. Now when we play this back, we have some cool looking text. And you can imagine, you can go on in here and add a reflection or shadows and add anything you want. And this could be a really, really cool looking little piece of text for you guys. Um, we've got a few more text things coming. We've got fire text coming. We've done ice. A few more coming. Um, and we're not going to stop there. We've got a lots of motion stuff coming, uh, as well as other Final Cut Studio apps. Oh, looks like we ran out. Let's go ahead and set our in and out point so we, that won't happen. So we'll put our playhead to where we want the end point to be. Command option I. We'll set an out point. Command option O. And now it'll loop between those out points. And we can close up our group. Name it. Shocking text. Okay. Like so. And if you want to go in and scale it up, you can. And I've scaled it up a little bit so you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay. I hope you've learned something. And um, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.